Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Step Campus. So in this video we are going to talk about 2702 course ID night watch and so on. So we already covered the selenium one. Okay, so the second question in night watch. So in this night watch first I will tell you about the problem statement. Okay, so if you see the problem statement, so you will get to know like we don't have any uh, much requirement. Okay, like what uh, scenario we have to test for this uh, hands on. Okay, so you can see this screen. So in this screen if you see, so they are just saying us to we have to do the end to end testing. Okay, but what scenario we have to cover we don't know. Okay, because this coro.js file which already present in the previous transaction that is not available in this one. So our main questions is like to what uh, scenario we have to cover. Okay, so we will see like what possible scenario we can cover uh, there. Okay, now uh, first first one. So most of, most of us what we are doing now we are just right uh, right click on this one and go to this. We are just directly launching this website. Either you can copy and paste or uh, direct or do it like this way. Whatever you will do, you will get uh, like this only. The site can't be reached. So if you are getting this error, then what you have to do now? So first you have to uh, install. Like uh, we have Visual Studio, right? So we have to install or you can say uh, import the folder. Okay, import the folder and run it for the first time. I will show you. So open folder, go to desktop, project, and this folder. Okay, uh, open it. So once you open here, now you have to run it. Okay. So I will show you. So go to terminal. Okay, new terminal. And then you have to give command sh first give install. Okay, install dot sh so it will install all the dependencies for this night watch and so on. Okay, you can see here installation is done. Now what we have to do the next step? We have to run it sh run dot sh. Okay, you can directly run it also, but yeah, it's better to install first and then run it. Okay, so once you run this one, now again go back there. Okay, and then refresh this page. So now you will see like you are able to open this. Um, uh, URL. Okay, so the first problem is solved. Now, the second one, they ask us to do the end-to-end -end testing, but we don't know like what scenario we have to do. So end-to-end -end means many things we can cover here. Okay, like this, uh, we can check this URL. Okay, we can check the title. Okay, we uh, we can check like this page is uh, visible or not. Okay, then we have then we can go to sub sub scenario like uh, this text is present or not, the price is present or not. We are able to click on this button or not? If we are clicking on this button, then uh, this option is showing here uh, in this cart section or not? So there are multiple scenario, but we are not sure. So what we will do now? So what we will do? We will click all these items. Okay, whatever the items present in our screen, we will click all items and then we will check the total amount. So we will do this one. Okay, this will mostly this will cover all the scenario, but I am also not sure. See, I am not sure. Nice saying like hundred percent, it will cover. Because maybe like scenario, uh, some scenario like uh, this blackberry text is present or not. Okay, this bread text is present or not, and the bread text the price is six uh, rupee per piece is you know uh, is or not. So there are multiple scenario can occur. Okay, so we can't predict because they didn't give uh, what scenario we have to test. But we can do one thing. Okay, without going to this uh, add button, like only single items. Uh, like we, like we are not going to. Uh, add the single item. We are going to add all the items. Okay, all the items, and we will check the total amount here properly. Okay, so let's see how we can do. Okay, so for this one, first uh, go to Visual Studio. Okay, now, okay, how uh, we are starting our uh, script? So we are writing module. Okay, dot exports. Okay, this one. Now. We have to give the test case name. So test case name will be I am giving this one grocery store. Okay, the website page title. You can use anything. Okay, grocery store. Okay, then colon, then function, and then inside function we have to pass the browser. Okay, yeah. Now, so so basic for high level scenario we will cover first. Okay, like you uh, are really launching or not. Okay, so for this one like we will write like browser. Okay, so we will use browser one time and then we will call it dot URL. Okay, just give the URL name. So I will go there in the instruction page. I will copy this one. Okay, and will paste here. Yeah, will paste here. So we are launching the browser now. We will check the URL contents. URL. Uh, yeah, you can see assert URL contents. Okay, so. Like how I am getting this uh, suggestion now? I will tell you. Okay, so what you have to do? You have to go to preferences. Okay, you know, like file preferences, you already know it. 
go to file okay preferences extension and here you have to write night watch okay i already installed okay i'm just checking like uh, it is working or not yeah so it is working but yeah it want to work for the most of the cases basic scenario it will cover so you can download this extension as well like here you have to write night watch and you can install this three extension okay yeah so assert dot url contains and then you have to give this url okay now dot assert dot title okay assert dot title contains see this session i am not getting okay so most of the time it won't work some time it will work so yeah you can install it for your uh, reference now uh, we have to give the title so title is same like this way so i will copy this one okay and paste here and if you don't know like from where i have get the title so you have to go to the web page okay you have to go to the web page control shift i okay then you have to give control f and then you have to write title so you can see this gro grocery store we are getting here so this title i am using in the code okay yeah now these two are okay right we have covered these two scenario let's run it let's run it see like uh, it is running or not uh terminal new terminal uh, we will give command sh test dot sh because install and run already we did right so now you can directly run the scenario okay we got some error okay yeah sorry i forgot to tell you one thing so first we have to uh, um, figure out this one also like configure js you have to cover so in this src folder you have to give test inside the underscore okay and in the output folder you have to write report okay and then url place you have to give the url Let's see i have copied or not yeah it's not copied okay. so go to the grocery store go to the instruction page okay now uh, just select this text right click copy go there okay and paste it okay see whenever you will get like this word no test source specified it means like we forgot to give the test folder and uh, output folder here okay now again run it yeah so you can see like two assertion passed we have used the only two assertion and now this two assertion is passing okay now as i told you what we have to do uh, we have to grab all the elements here okay so what we will do now we will uh, we will uh, take this button okay so first uh, find out this button so i will use x path you can use selector as well so control f how we are writing us so slash less okay you can see here uh, inside this fig ca uh, fig caption okay yeah yeah when i write this fig fig caption so you can see like this whole text is uh, populating okay so slash button you can go this also like slash less button at the rate uh, this value you can also write but yeah i prefer this one so you can see like there are twelve elements okay there are twelve elements present in the web page so i will i try to grab all the element okay so uh, how to write this one okay so just see if i am going to uh, using a for loop so just to see this video okay just don't quit and forward this video just see how i am writing okay see now we have to grab the multiple items okay multiple items we have to grab so dot elements okay just remember dot elements okay and inside this one i will give x path because i am using x path right x path and then i will give the x path value means element so this is a x path value element but yeah we have you have to see here okay if i give like this way now so you can see like i can able to grab all the text button okay I am able to grab the text button. It is only populating on the text part. You can see text, text. Okay, only this button. Now, okay, this one is fine. Yeah, I I am showing you like uh, we have copied this path, right? Control A, Control C. I have copied this path. Okay, and just paste it. Okay, inside double quotes you have to paste this one. Okay, text part. First we have to give the element name. Okay, which element we are taking? So X path we are taking, and the element value. So this is the element value. Okay. Now we have to give comma, and then we have to give function. I will tell you. Just go with the syntax first, and then give any value. I I am writing a result as a variable. You can use anything. Okay. A result, and then 
and then I will get this one. Okay. See what I am doing. I am telling like dot elements like we are grabbing the multiple elements. Okay, using this X path. Okay, I am telling uh, go to this uh, element. Okay, and if you go this element, then we will get multiple. For example, we are getting twelve. Okay, and then I am saying like just take out this value and present this uh, paste the total value in this result one result variable. Okay, this is a variable which we are creating for storing this value. Okay, and I am writing like console. Okay, so let, we can print also. We can print also. So we will write like console dot or we can see like console. log okay and then we will print out this result print out this result control s okay and we will print one thing like not result dot uh, result dot value okay result value dot length let print out this okay we are printing the length of this result value okay so as we have seen like 12 it should come let's we will see like 12 is coming or not Or we are getting any error. Okay, two session passed, and we are getting twelve as well. So now twelve elements we have total in our hand, right? Now, okay. Now we will write the for loop. Okay, twelve elements we have. Now the second part, what we have to do? We have to click on add add button for all the twelve elements, and then we have to check the final value, right? Uh, this is our uh, this is the thing which we are planning to do, right? Now, uh, we will write for loop. So for okay. Uh, I equals to zero. Okay. So like I won't work directly. So give where okay variable we have to define first equals to zero. Okay, or you can go with a one as well. Not an issue. Go with one. Where equals to one. Okay, where uh, less than equals to. Okay, so this value. Okay, this value. Because we have to go till length of the total elements present in this piece. Okay, and then I plus plus. Okay. Uh, not where here. It should be I here. Sorry. Okay. I uh, where I equals to one. I less than equals to zero dot value dot line and I plus plus means uh, simply term. I will tell you I equals to one. I less than equals to twelve. Okay. So from one to twelve we have to go and then we have to increase our I value and what we have to do we have to click. So to uh, uh, um, from the night watch uh, the function will be dot click to click any element and then here we have to pass the Element, which element we want to click? See, this element we want to click, right? But this is a fixed value. See, enter, enter coming, then uh, the value changing. But we are not doing enter there, right? What we were going to do? We are going to give our the i value. So what we have to do now? We have to give one extra bracket here, and give one extra bracket at the starting point, and now give value. Suppose I am giving two, so you can see this value two value is created uh, selected. If I give three, then this three value will be selected. If I give four. So four value will be selected. Okay, getting my point. So we will use this syntax. Control A, Control C. Now go there. Okay. Dot click and then we have to give this value. Okay. Okay. See, browser uh, we have defined here. Okay, but inside this loop the browser is not defined. Okay, so we have to write browser from our end. Okay, browser dot click and see. Now we are giving this four, but this four won't won't come like this. It's hard coded. Okay, we have to give. Uh, uh, we have to go with this i value, right? So how we can write this uh, this value? Just see. Okay, just remove uh, the four. With, uh, just remove the four. Okay. Now what you have to give? You have to give one quotes. Okay, give plus i, then again plus and then again quotes. Okay, uh, single quotes only. Okay, so this is the syntax. Okay, the button uh, here we it will uh, the we can see here uh, this will be a common path. Okay, and so this is a common path, and this one two three four is coming inside this i part i part. Okay, this is a common path, and this i is uh, changing every time when uh, from the i one to twelve. Okay, so we will click this value. Okay, okay. So after clicking, what we have to do? We have to uh, I will show you. We have to assert one alert also. See, click here. We have to uh, one uh, alert will open. Okay, we have to give some value here, and then we have to click on OK. Okay, so we have to handle alert also. 
so to handle the alert uh, we have to write like dot set alert text okay and give one okay like as of now like i am just giving uh, one one element only adding one one element only okay and dot alert okay and uh, sorry accept alert accept alert okay so i am giving one and accepting the alert let's see run it first okay let's see like uh, if you are getting any error or what so then we will go with the next approach okay now see like okay so if you see like we are getting this no such element error okay why na uh, as i told you like uh, uh, we have to use dot use as well because we are writing xpath right so we have to use uh, see here we have written like xpath we are taking for this one but uh, in this loop we didn't define like what uh, value we are taking so by default it will take uh by default it will take a csl selector but we are using this uh, xpath na so we have to tell it browser dot use xpath okay now we have to run it now we have to run it so ss test dot sh so we will see now it is passing or not okay now you can see it is passing so it's a silly mistake but yeah you have to take care about this because say here we have defined but we are using again xpath but in this local loop this is global okay outside this for loop so that is okay but now again compiler asks like you are using this element but i already know i only know the css selector by default so we have to write this path as well now uh, what we have done till now so we have selected all this button okay we have selected all this button okay now we have to go and then we have to check the title okay now we have to check the title okay let me close this part yeah now we have to check the title so how to check the title so go to this one okay this is the total no title sorry total see here okay right click copy i will use xpath only because i already use xpath so i will go with the xpath uh, only okay. so how to write now so browser okay let me put it here yeah browser browser dot Get text. Get text is a method to which will give us the text. Okay. Dot get text. Okay. And inside this one we have to pass the parameter. So we will pass our text part. Okay. Just remove this double quote and make it single quote. Okay. Browser dot get text. Okay. Uh, this one and yeah. Uh, and we have to give this comma. Yeah. Uh, here we can use it. Inside this bracket, just write comma, give function, again give a result or something else. Uh, I can give result as well, not an issue. Okay, and then this quotes. See, this one like what we why we are writing now. This one just is for giving the result. Whatever we are getting here, so we have to store it in some variable and then we have to pass this variable. So uh, we have to write console dot log. Okay, and then we have to print the result. print the result okay so save it save it and run it let's check are we getting any error or what okay we got some issue uh browser dot get text uh, this value what is the issue coming Uh, dot get text is not a function. Uh, browser dot. Oh, sorry. Uh, we have written g text. Uh, it should be get text. Okay. Sorry. Get text. Save it. Now run it. Okay. All scenario passed and value we are getting here. You can see four ninety two. So this is the total value. So let's do it manually also, like very fast, so that we can grab. Now I have added uh, blackberry. Okay. Now I will go with the second one. add bread okay then chocolate then cookies then corn uh then egg then kiwi then onion then orange okay yeah pumpkin sauce 
uh, and last I think tomato. Okay, let's see the value. So total value we are getting 492, and here also we are getting 492. It means like uh, it is matching. Definitely it will match. So yeah, this scenario we can write. Like see, I'm also not 100% sure like this will okay or not. But yeah, this scenario we can write. Okay, so this will complete uh, end to end because like we are selecting all the all the value and then we at the last we are just checking this uh, total sum is coming or not. So I hope this videos uh, helps you a lot. So just try from your end once. Okay, and yeah, we'll see you in the next lecture if you need required. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.